Every man, woman, and child sits on the shoulders of previous generations, inheriting the courage and discovery of those who went before and the opportunity to learn the lessons of the past and to build for a better future. In this way, on the 26th of April, 1949, the modern Commonwealth is born out of the international collaboration that had been generated through the First and Second World Wars. In an act of continuum, the political leaders in the second half of the 1940s were determined not to lose this spirit of international brotherhood and mutual support. With King George VI at his head, the Commonwealth of Nations was first established as a voluntary group of eight independent countries. Australia, Canada, Ceylon, India, New Zealand, Pakistan, South Africa and the United Kingdom. Today, the Commonwealth comprises 53 nations across all six inhabited regions of the globe. Africa, the Americas, Asia, the Caribbean, Europe and the Pacific. Each of the 53 independent nations is an equal stakeholder and with national populations ranging from 9,600 to 1.3 billion and with multifarious races and faiths, the Commonwealth encapsulates the concept of embracing diversity. When King George VI died on the 6th of February 1952, the Commonwealth Heads of Government invited the young Queen Elizabeth II to become the head of the Commonwealth. For 66 years, Her Majesty has been and continues to be a constant and supremely uniting influence with a unique presence and personal style which can never be replicated. The 21st century Commonwealth, now in its 68th year, is building on its dynamic legacy and heritage. With international engagement and diversity at its core and the opportunity to maximize individual, national and international potential, it offers the possibility to be a model of mutual human respect, support and understanding.